Yeah. Ich komm im Bentley gefahren, habe die MP geladen und du wirst lieber in Sicherheit im Gefängnis zen schlafen, denn. This is Pokemon Games. Welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at some BMD Drive. Uh, we're looking at the new vehicle that was added um, to the newest version, which is 5.6.1 or 5.6. Um, so first, uh, let's actually let's just look at the vehicle today. Um, th there's obviously some other YouTube videos you can look at um, prior to showing all of the updates they added to the game in 5.6 so uh, first let's we're gonna look at the ETK the newest car um, I see here there's five different versions you can get first we're gonna look at the base version so replace load this thing up right now I'm using my wheel I don't really use my wheel very much so, I also added a turbo boost to the right of the screen there, like a little gauge thing, I guess you can say. And, uh, yeah. Works pretty good. Um, so, let's take a look at an interior here. Very nice. Um, there's no back seat, unless that folds up or something. But, um, yeah, very well detailed on, like, the radio and the, the shift knob and stuff. Door panels, air vents, speedometer. The wheel's pretty cool. Um, this is a pretty good, pretty good interior. I really like it, to be honest. Um, there's all different cameras. So, as you see here, it says my name on the license plate, which is pretty cool. Um, also, you tell license plate. There is these wheels here, which are the base wheels. I would not call it a sports car, I guess you could, um, I, I don't know what I would call it. Maybe this version isn't a sports car, obviously. The base version here. Um, camera, please focus. There we go. So yeah, it's a pretty cool car. So, uh, this is a gun drive here. You can hear the turbo. It's pretty loud. I should not turn down my volume. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. Set the car real fast and uh, we're back. So, I got the volume turned down a little bit so you can actually hear me. So, uh, I see the base mode here. It's not very fast. And that's what an uh, impact would look like. Uh,. Camera, please. Okay. Um, so it wasn't as bad as I expected it would be. Let's see if we can pull out there. Um, so not as bad. Or if it still drives. No, it does not drive anymore. Let's uh, restart it here. So it's not a very powerful car. I, I wouldn't. I would not recommend this car to go racing in or driving or anything like that. <laughs> it's not really a good model. Anyway, let's look at the next one, which is the KC6, I'm guessing. Um, it has a rear-wheel drive sports car coupe. So, let's replace this real fast and uh, let's test that out. Personally, I've not driven these cars yet. Alright, so it doesn't have a turbo. I see the gauges not there. I do like the wheels on this one better. Here's the interior. And I do not want to do that. Alright. So just to see if the interior changed. Looks like it didn't really change really. Um let's look at the outside camera here. So let's, let's see what it can do here on the red. I'm flooring it right now. So it's decently fast, I would say. It's 
just popped a tire there. I'm not used to the steering wheel yet. Um, it's kind of hard to drive with this flat tire now. Quickly restart that with us. There you go. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, not gonna lie, this I'd much prefer this one over the base model. And I see we flipped. That was kind of a weird flip right there. So yeah, overall, it's a pretty strong car. Let's see if this, this surprising does drive. Look at that back wheel. Jesus. <laughs> um, Alright. Let's take a look at the next one now. Um, this was the KD or KC6D. It's kind of like a weird brown color. So let's load this in real fast. It has the same wheels. I don't know. Okay, so this one has a turbo in it. Um, so the other, the one, the KDC or whatever the last one it is, um, had didn't have a turbo, but this one does. So I'm guessing this is the only change in it. And does not drive anymore. I want to doubt if this thing is bad off, or uh, would think this thing's kind of bad off road. It's not really the type of off roading vehicle you would take. Um, it does that decent. Not the ideal car, though. Some rocks are there. Pretty pretty cool car, I'd say. And I just completely trashed it again. Let's bring it back a little bit more. Um, let's take a look at the next version now. This one isn't really special. Let's take a look at the one that's on the picture. Uh, this is the KC6T. I don't know what kind of names are these. <laughs> and so this one has a turbo. Um, I like the wheels on this thing. I like the look pretty cool. They kind of remind me of a wheel I've I saw I've seen before on the road. Can't really think of the car that had it on it. Um. So I'm um, obviously this is gonna be a different, maybe bigger engine than this one, prior to the other ones we just tested. Um. Yeah, oh jeez. <laughs> okay. Not very good for off roading have a bit of interior. Uh, see how this thing does. Ooh, oh, I'm probably going to lose control. Jesus, this is water. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we completely destroyed it. Alright, so let's return back t to here. Um, let's take a look at the last version you can get here. This looks pretty cool. I like the wheels on that. Um, that blue looks alright. Looks like it's all-wheel drive. Main Germany. Uh, automatic. 2015-2018. So really new. It's a fairly new vehicle in this game. Uh, change it going to change the type of... Alright, so overall, this thing is really fast compared to the base model. Oh man, this is kind of fun to drive. Um, so yeah, I would prefer this one over all of them. As of me going off-road right now. Let's see how far, how fast we can get on this thing. Maybe without going off road. I think I need to go on the highway. And there's a hundred mile an hour collision right there. So yeah, it did really, really good. Um, let's take this back a little more. And uh, let's head on this road a little bit more. I want to test how fast this thing can go. Like it's top speed. I probably won't even find top speed to be honest with you. Oh 
Break. Breaks, 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 breaks. There you go. Um, so, already we're going 80. Yeah, we're going 90 by the time we're here. And they did remove, or they've added so you can go through that tunnel now, which is pretty cool. I think I'm going to have to test that, the, the speed on that. Because it's like a straight line in the tunnel, so we should be able to get top speed in there. So we're gaining about 130, probably like 150, I believe, as a top speed. Maybe. There's a nice straightaway. And, oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Whoops, actually. Hit J. But anyway, um. So, you guys kind of saw the impact we had that. I was at 150. And uh, before I paused it, I don't know how I paused it, I, I even know what I hit there. It's, it's pretty easy to pop these tires, just to let you guys know. So I was going about 150, I hit that wall. Um, yeah, that, that completely put the engine inside the, uh, inside the car there. So, yeah, if you're going at that speed, you're probably definitely going to destroy your car. I mean... Like on all cars, I mean, obviously you're going to destroy it if you're going at that speed. Uh, right now, we're going about 145. Okay, so we're going over 150. I would say 160 if we can maybe go a little bit more for this turn. And... Jeez. Jeez. So still driving. Surprisingly, um, <laughs> that suspension and it is destroyed. So yeah, there you go, guys. This is the ETK K series. It's a pretty cool car. I'd advise you guys to go check it out yourself. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.